I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. What's up everyone, Game Cave here with a new game on the channel. I have been playing this quite a bit off camera. Uh, this is Medieval Dynasty. So this game is kind of a survival meets city builder game. Um, it goes really in depth. This is your character, or our character I should say, Razimir. So as you can see in the intro, he has left his hometown due to war to start a new life. Here in this valley. And as you can see, we do have a quest to go and speak with the Castellan. So that is the very first thing we're going to do. There is a lot to do in this game. Uh, there are bandits. There are animals to hunt, which we'll be doing a lot of. There's tons of things to build. So I think we're, I think we're going to enjoy this. So first, let's get down and speak with the Castellan. So before I get to the area that I want to like settle in, There is a, um, like, old camp that I can get some supplies from. Um, it's kind of over in that direction. I am going to go there because there's normally, like, a pretty decent bow, some arrows, uh, some coin, a couple other things. Um, which... The bow and arrows is something you don't really get for a little while, so it's nice to uh, get it fairly early on. So, here is Unigost, the Castellan. Let's speak with him. The, those eyes! I didn't think I would see them again. One blue as the sky and the other black like a lump of coal. Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. So, you aren't one? Good. For a second there, I thought I lost it. <laughs> but your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new in these parts. Just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Rasimir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Lorden's nephew? What? Did, did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family secret separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait. What do you mean by dead? I know her. Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it. This world. <sighs> I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Um... It's okay. They died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my Uncle Lorden? 
I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rasimir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your Uncle Lorden is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. So, that's it? I'm the only one left? Don't you say that. He looked at... <clears throat> well, that was a mess up. Hey, look at me. This valley is filled with warm-hearted people who can gladly aid you with whatever you need. And I'm one of them. So what should I do now? You are free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that? I can take the land free of charge? Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please. As long as you don't break the law, of course. Or at least, if you don't get caught doing so. That sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer and that will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. When you build yourself a home, come back to Custovia and talk to my wife, Dobroniega. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you stories about Lorden. That sounds like a plan to me. Okay. So now, we need to gather some resources, build an axe, and find a place to settle. But, like I said... I'm gonna go over here to the east. There is a small, like, abandoned camp that has some supplies that will come in handy. Or at least it normally does. I have noticed that, like, auto generates sometimes, so you won't always get the same um, items. Sorry about the camera. I am taking a sip of my drink. Okay. Let's go this way. While I'm at it, let me try to find some rocks. Because I, I do need two stone. Which, apparently there aren't any, I guess. <laughs> okay. Ah, there's some stone. There's some daisies, too. There we go. Yes, I know, tree cutting. Okay grab another one so it is actually following this creek I think if I remember correctly no 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 I spoke too soon actually oh wait what's that over there oh there's some supplies here a tin bar some tin ore That'll be good to sell, at least. Couple planks. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go up this way. So I was right. It was following that creek. So yeah, right up here, there's normally. And it's not here. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, then. Well. I was not aware that each new game would be slightly different. Let's see what's up here. Sometimes there's stuff up this way, too. One, I During one of my games, there was actually some bandits, like, right over there that attacked me. But it doesn't look like there's anything over this way. 
Hmm. Well, that is a little unfortunate, because I was really hoping it was there. I'm just going to keep walking this way to see if there... Ah, oh dear. See if there's anything... I'm not in a hurry to, like, build. I know where I want to build. Oh, there's a boar. I need to stay away from that thing. It will attack me. And there's a wolf somewhere, too. I don't know where. Another boar. There's a wolf. Okay. We're just going to go back this way. Head back to the river. I hear something. Okay. Alright, well, that's unfortunate that that's not there, but it is what it is. I do need to craft a stone axe, so let's do that real quick. There we go. Now I need a wooden hammer, cut down five trees, and get 32 straw. So you can get straw from several different, um, or in several, several different ways. Well, I say several, in two different ways. You can either um, grow certain plants and they will produce straw when you go and refine them, or you can come to the river's edge and get some from like reeds like those over there which is where we're heading lost shipment ah some hops not that I really need hops but hey while I'm in town here I will sell them Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of stamina, so I can't really, like, run. Eventually, I'll be able to get a horse or a donkey, and that'll... That'll help me a lot. Wow, there are a lot of missions. There was never that many missions the first time. Hmm. Okay. Um... Let's see. Alice... Edwin. Let's go to Edwin. We'll sell stuff to you. Greetings, stranger. My wares never disappoint. Let's see. Um let's sell tin bar, because I don't need it. The two tin ore. And we'll sell the two hop. There we go. See, Made some money. Money is an important part of this game because you do have to pay taxes. The taxes are um, owed depending on how many buildings you have in your village or settlement. So once you get a large settlement, it adds up. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure one of the... Um, Achievements is to have a tax bill of like a million coin. Ah, oh, some wheat. Anything else? Sticks? No. Okay. And occasionally, like, you'll find a cart like that to tipped over or find stuff along. Oh, I needed. I just realized I need to get some straw. Oh well, I know where some is along the route that I'm going, so. It's a very beautiful game. It really is. And they're getting ready to add co-op, which I would love to play with somebody. I think this game would be a lot of fun as two-player, whether it's building a settlement together or building, like, uh, opposing settlements and having to, uh, like, trade and compete with each other. That would be kind of cool. 
So I'm actually going to go that way, but I see these barrels over here. So I'm going to go right over here real quick and see what's in them. Hey, barrels. Okay. Oat grain. Okay. I'll take that. And a plum tree. Three plum tree saplings. Man. Go ahead and take that. I'll build an orchard with some plums. There's some uh, reeds for some straw. Yes, I know. I'm getting low on water. It's okay. They're also wanting to eventually add armor and, like, family crests and things of that nature. So that's going to be kind of cool. There we go. Get all these reeds. Ooh, my survival skill went up. Okay, let's... Look at our skills here. Uh, treasure hunter, force of nature. You know what? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Survival knowledge, insensitive. We're gonna go with survival knowledge for now. Alrighty, ooh. Some apple tree saplings, some salted meat, some mead. There's another stone axe, some more mead, and a couple logs. Might as well take the logs. I'm going to need them anyway. Alrighty. So technically I do need to cut trees, uh, but I will do that shortly. Because right up here is where I'm going to be building my village. Which, let's see, let's build a road first. So I do want to like start planning this out a bit. Let's go. We'll do something like that. I can go ahead and build a wooden hammer because I've already got logs. Hey, look, a moose. Let's go to my inventory. Put that in my second slot. build my first home. Build it right here. I need ten stone. I've got two. Um. Hmm. Eventually I will get a survival sense that will let me see like where all the stones and sticks are. Um, eventually when you get your hunting skill up enough, you can track animals using that skill as well, which is very useful. I'm a little encumbered. I need one more stone. There we go. But... I learned early on, if you want to move faster, you just go at an angle. Just a little cheeky, but it works. Okay. Get this foundation put in. There we go. Go 
go back to my axe. Let's... I'm gonna leave those. Cut this one. These down over here. Timber! By the way, if you are standing in the wrong spot and that, like, comes up, it will hit you and it does hurt. I learned that the hard way. There we go. Grab some logs. Get another one. Yes, I know. I would like to get enough money to go and buy a backpack. A large backpack. I think that would be very useful. There we go. Now, I do have 17 sticks. So, we have the option of doing several different um, types of walls. Stone is the best at durability and heat retention, but it takes a lot of stone. Uh, wood is pretty decent. It takes a lot of logs, though. Oh, nope. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do a door. There we go. Go ahead and put my sticks down. There we go. Slowly getting it done. And amount of sticks. Okay. But if you noticed, when I cut down trees, I get some sticks. And some feathers, which will come in handy later when I go and uh, start being able to craft arrows. Yes, I know. I need to sleep. I'm also very thirsty. And hungry. Which, I can drink straight out of the river, thankfully. And I have a little bit of food on me. So I'm not too worried about that. And there we go, my first wall. It really doesn't take too long to build a house. At least a waddle walled house. If you're doing a wooden or a stone, it can take a bit to at least gather the resources. Generally, you don't get stone until you've got some villagers and one of them is getting stone and wood for you because then it's a lot easier to gather the material. Hey, I unlocked the will. Which, to be honest, I don't really need. You'll need four villagers because you'll have someone that works at the well that will get you water consistently. There we go. I want to get this house built before night. Because I'd rather sleep in the house than sleep by a campfire. Okay. Actually. There we go. Attic. There we go. Go ahead and get the straw. 
taken care of. I will say the wooden hammers go quick. Whoops. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. So now I just need some logs and sticks, and I should be good. Matter of fact, if I get enough logs... Okay, let's take a look at my inventory. Let's go to food. I do have some mead, but that does make me a little drunk. Um, we'll do one oat roll just to have some food. Let's go over here to the water, get something to drink. If you don't drink, your health does... Holy crap at the stone. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, I'm dirty too. Let's go ahead and get something to drink. Let's go out into the water. Get clean. Okay. Here we go. Cut down a couple more trees. Ah, oh, I'm out of stamina. Come on. There we go. Now this is just spring. Um, I did set the seasons to five days per season. It's normally set on three. I figured three would be better, or I'm sorry, five would be better. Did I already grab the other log? Okay, I guess I already grabbed the other log. I didn't think I did. Hey, it's a moose. Okay. One log. Two log. Three log. Four log. Five log. And now I just need sticks. Which I don't think I have enough. I could be wrong. Nope, I'm not wrong. I need more sticks. Ooh, where's the door? Ah, there's the door. Grab a torch. Hey, there's... Sticks. Some more sticks. Oop. Some more sticks. So, uh, St. John's Wort, that's also good. It's for good for healing. So, I, you know, get some of that just in case. Uh, uh, oh, berries. Nope, don't pick those just yet. Some more sticks. Okay. I think that's enough. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough. Uh, maybe. Could be wrong. Am I wrong? No, I was right. There we go. So, let's go to sleep. Into the next day. Ah, nice. Nice and fresh spring day. Jay don't have a hammer much left. All right, let's put the log, put the whole plank. Uh, put the weed up, put the straw up. 
Put the feathers, because I don't need that. Put the mead. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, I think I am going to leave it there for today. So, you know, just to summarize, welcome to the world of Medieval Dynasty. I don't know exactly where this is take place. I, it's supposed to be like Central Europe, Eastern European. So, welcome. And let's build our settlement. So, I, you know, built my first home. Getting ready. Hopefully, we'll be able to upgrade. Matter of fact, let's name it real quick. Let's... Let's go here. Let's go to custom name. We'll name it. How do you spell his name? Uh, R A C I M I R. Jeez, I'm not gonna remember that. Razimir's home. There we go. Razimir's home. So I think that's a good start to the game. Unfortunately, I didn't get the tools that I wanted, but hey, that's life. So if you would, everyone, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. I want to know what you think of the game. And what you think of the upcoming co-op that is getting added to the game. And would you be interested? Alright. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.